Hey ladies and gents, it's Zem and I'm doing a review on the AMA 65 tons. So the last batch, the new French uh, heavy line came out uh, and this of course is the tier 8. So we'll look at the tech tree quick here and this actually runs off of the uh, AMX M445. So you get this, this is where it splits, you go to the AM65 ton or AMX5100. Uh, those are your two choices. Uh, this was actually, 1950 was run in, um, at the time they were developing the AMX5100. Uh, they wanted a heavy tank, uh, you know, they, so that these were run in parallel uh, in development. This was actually a true heavy tank, no autoloader, better, uh, better armored uh, than the AMX 5100. AMX 5100, of course, was built as a prototype. This er, this this tank never made it past uh, the blueprints. So paper tank, not surprising. Uh, so what do we have? Which was interesting also is that this tank uh, drew, drew a lot on German. Uh, development uh, World War II. Of course, you notice the tracks very similar to the Tiger II, as long as as long, as long uh, similar with the hull, uh, the front actually with the pike nose, uh, more along the Russian uh, line of development. So it's kind of an oddball mix of turret here or of of hull and tracks. So yeah, uh, it, it was interesting. Entirely uh, blueprint, no prototype built, uh, and that's what we get in game. Uh, we have an interesting uh, issue here with this tank. Uh, we have two turrets uh, that are workable and two guns that are workable. So this is the top uh, end right here, top turret, top gun, uh, which is, and I'll, I'll go over the stats for you and then I'll bring up the other one. Uh, 400 average damage, this is a 120, uh, 218 average pen, 5.15 rate of fire, 11.64 reload. Uh, 27 on the traverse speed, 8 degrees of gun depression, uh, 2.3 aiming time, 0 0.34 dispersion, and 2,061 average damage. Not bad, not great, uh, very meh for tier 8. 1,550 hit points, 100 hull armor on the front. This will bounce stuff if you get the right, you know, weird shot. Don't bet your life on it. Um, 100 on the side, uh, 60 on the rear. Turrets, entirely different story, very bouncy turret. Uh, you can take tier 10 shots of this thing, and they will bounce. Uh, 80 on the side, 60 on the rear. Mobility, uh, I'm not going to uh, bullshit you guys. This thing sucks compared to the other uh, <laughs> other line. Uh, it's slow. Uh, in town, not too bad on hard ground, soft ground. It's Even with these big-ass wide tracks, uh, yeah, it, it's not a mover. That's for damn sure. Um, concealment, uh, yeah, you're spotted from base. Uh, <laughs> Uh, don't expect to hide in a bush with this thing. It's it's just ridiculous. 378 view range, 427 signal range. Uh, the 378 view range, of course, I you know I'm only running a 90% on the BIA, 100% crude, 90% on the BIA. Uh, this course will get better, uh, along with some of the other stats. Uh, this was an old crew I had laying around, so I thought I'd throw this in here for this new set of uh, new line of uh, French heavies. So that's with this. Uh, I'm actually going to switch it out and show you what the uh, difference. So you can actually, like I said, you can play the 90 mm, the 100 millimeter on here, uh, as well with this turret, uh, or you can play the other turret with. You know, this turret is actually the same one you get off the AMX M4 uh, here. Uh, this turret, if you're familiar with it, is a very nice turret. It's very bouncy. Uh, on the AMX 65 ton, uh, you get. A little bit of a change here. You can't mount the 120 with this turret, but you can mount the 100 millimeter with it. I mean, you can mix and match. Of course, you can put the 100 millimeter on the on the on the uh, uh, upgraded turret. But the thing about nice thing about this turret is, uh, you gain 10 degrees of you get 10 degrees of gun depression. Where do you only get? You only get eight with the other one. So this is actually a nice configuration if you are familiar with the AMX M4. Uh, you know, if you like that tank, you like that kind of play style with the faster rough fire gun, uh, this is a nice, uh, you know, very similar to the AMX M4. Uh, but the gun is a little crappier, and we'll go through that here shortly. 300 average damage per shell, 232 pen. So, yeah, it's got a much better pen with the 100 millimeter than it does the 120. Uh, 8.27 for the reload time, 24.53 for the traverse speed, and then, of course, the 10 degrees of gun depression makes a big difference. I mean, that's 2 degrees of gun depression difference between this turret and the other turret. Uh, 2.73 aiming time. That's what really blows. The other one was 2.3. So this is the aim time on this gun. It, it does suck. Uh, and you'll see that's why I'm running a GLD. I actually ran this tank for quite a while, uh, probably the first 20 games with the 100 millimeter and this turret, just trying to see if this would work out. 
I didn't really care for it with that aim time. It, it, it just blows. It does have decent accuracy, uh, and of course, its average damage per minute is slightly better than the 120. Um, also, playing with a second search, you lose uh, hit points. Uh, you know, 100 hit points. That's the difference, of course, playing the uh, tier 7 turn versus tier 8 turn. 100 on the hull. Once again, the hull armor doesn't change. Uh, this turn is actually better armored than the top tier turn. Uh, 120 on the side and 60 on the rear. Uh, it seems like this with this weird bulges on the front actually bounces shots a little better but you also get a cupola that's really e fairly easy to pen uh, so once again um, you really have to uh, you know and of course you lose 20 on the view range so you can mix and match I, I mean the two guns that are workable two turns that are workable uh, you can mix and match between the two of them, and, and, and you know you can put the hundred millimeter on the last turn, that kind of stuff. Uh, so yeah, there 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 is something there you can play with uh, if if you like the gun depression, you like the faster reload. You know, obviously this is going to be the setup you're going to play. I played both. I prefer the top end turn plus the top end gun uh, just because of the aim time, uh, but that's just me. And, and, you know, and that's kind of the reason why I would play. I had the GLD mounted on the other uh, setup. So once again, it's entirely up to you. How you're going to play this tank? Uh, both, like I said, are very doable, uh, and um, uh, you will probably won't be disappointed. You know, once again, that aim time on the other uh, gun it can be a little bit frustrating, but uh, you know, you can make. It, uh, of course, you can make it work. So that's the tank that we have uh, in game uh, off of what the prototypes were. Uh, I will be throwing up the video for you guys, kind of give you guys an idea how this thing plays, and I'll be. Uh, you know, working the uh, ridge lines and all that kind of stuff, and then working on some uh, uh, rather uh, crappy ground with it. And you guys can see some of the mobility issues that this thing has. So I will be ringing up the uh, replay for you guys to uh, check out. Hey guys, back with the replay uh, with the AMX 65 ton. So North America, uh, so and I don't I don't like to play town even in a heavy. Uh, and you'll notice right here I said leave town alone. Uh, there's a reason for that. Uh, it becomes a slugfest. Even if you win town, you still have to get past the DE line where their TDs sit, heavies sit, uh, medium sit, sit. You have to cross open bunch of, uh, a bunch of open ground uh, and you just get wrecked. So I don't like to play that at all, uh, especially if I have a, a, a tank that has a similar, or not a similar, uh, somewhat of a gun depression. Uh, so with a heavy, I'm going to head down to the 9-0. We, of course, are not top tier tanks we are uh, tier eights uh, there is three tier nines so we are going to see what we can do here I'm uh, playing with fixer and he is uh, a guy I met in the game before so he plumed, platooned up and we're gonna start working this south line here uh, of course nobody really takes our advice uh, we have the two Tiger P's the Weezy 111 the Tiger 1 and of course the Weezy 120 uh, as a medium he goes to town too uh, We'll, we'll let it go. T28, he goes there as well. Uh, so here we are. Yeah, so we are mostly tier 8s here down here in the bottom. They have a T54 Mod 1, Type 62, um, and an E50. Uh, so we're going to see what we can do here. The T71 immediately runs into the E50, which is not a good thing to do this early in the game. E50 kills the T71. Uh, I'm not sure how that was going to go for him. Pull up here. And I'm going to get one shot into the Jag Panther for 411. Uh, Wing skin 120 has a much better, much quicker aim time, uh, and you can kind of pull them shots off. So I back off, I back off a little bit. Um, take an RD shell to the knee, as always, you know, because they love shooting at me. I don't know why. Uh, the 8 degrees on this one isn't quite as nice as the 10 degrees, so you have to work the ridge a little bit to try to get down on targets. Uh, and I'm going to do here with this uh, Tiger P. I'm going to try to get, see if I can get down on him uh, and see if I can get a shell into him. 218 pen, though, compared to uh, the 232 on the other 100 millimeter, and you see I have to drive over relatively far to get it, uh, which leaves me the Jag Panther that actually puts a nice shell into me for 329. Up to 772 da uh, damage. Fixer's getting nailed by artillery now. Uh, and the Type 62 goes YOLO. Uh, not sure why that was all, what that was all about. So E50 is getting worked over by the set one uh, over in the corner as along with the Pershing. So yeah, we're, we're, we're gonna wait here a little bit here. And that's what I'm doing here. I need to get up a little higher uh, so I can cross over into the bottom without getting shot by the uh, Jag Panther, uh, who of course hasn't moved from that bush. 
Fixer's put, doing a nice job on the T29, and I pull over here. Uh, don't know shot on him. I was actually looking for the Tiger P. Uh, he's moved across, uh, so we pull down, and there he is right there. Aim in, aim in, aim in, and I get his track. Yeah, that's that's nice. That's real nice. So Tiger P is not paying attention, so I'm going to get down in here. I'm going to try to hold, hold down here on this uh, T29. Um, I switched to uh, premium ammo because I did not want to not pen that tank. I wanted him dead. I did not want to take any damage. Uh, hit the T29, switch back to regular ammo. We finish him off. We have a 54 Mod 1 in front of us. And we're up 5-1, right? Looking good. Uh, but then you can see all of a sudden the red flush of shit that goes into town. Uh, they have uh, mediums there. They have heavies there. Yeah, it, it's quite the deal. So I wait a little bit here. Let the T-54 get worked over by artillery. Uh, the LTTB makes a crazy run on this guy. Uh, lets me come over the top unmolested. Put a shell onto him. 65 tons. Even if I'm going slow, I was probably going to kill him. Uh, thank you, Bat Chat. I needed that. Does 99 damage um, and some crit hits. But yeah, that, that's, I'm not going to push up any further. They, they, fought, they spot the GW Panther, uh, and he's going to get nailed. And he likes it up. In the garage view, you can notice how this thing is just slow. I mean, it does not do anything real well. So now this is where people fail uh, when you do the south push. Uh, if town with two VK100s in there, yeah, that's not a good place to be. Uh, and that is why they're getting wrecked. Uh, so we turn around head back. Pershing and LTTB, they don't seem to care uh, and continue to push on to cap. Now this would have been nice if they would have come back to us. Uh, we could have met the force coming out of city uh, coming this way. So there's always kind of an iffy either on this or uh, sometimes the city will turn around and go back to their cap. Uh, but these guys are getting really pushy so we're going to move up here. So I switched to premium rounds because uh, VK100s are bullshit. So yeah. We're going to have to do a little bit of, I'm going to have to have a little bit better pen than uh, 218 to go through them. Pull up, and they, of course, have evened the score up rather quickly here. They're about, they're, it's actually at 9.8 right now. We're only up one tank. Um, we still have an artillery piece. Uh, the Pershing and LTTB eventually do take out all artillery. So we are, at, uh, of course, an advantage here. Weezy 120 is up there. Centurion 1's up there. Uh, and they are trying to capture base, which makes no sense. Uh, with the Pershing down there by himself. What are you going to do? Uh, so I mentioned we have artillery. They don't. We're going to take advantage of that. Uh, we're going to let them push into us. Uh, you know, and that's how you win this. Uh, you, you don't want to get yourself out into a position where uh, you're not going to be able to do something here. So pull up on the Indian Panzer. Uh, he gets actually hits the Centurion 1 right off the bat. we got an E75 and a VK here. Uh, I'm going to try to get a side shot on him I catch the back of his turn of course uh, VK's bullshit armor uh, not so easy here pull up here looking for the E75 and see if I can put one shell into him before he ducks over the edge and I miss um, bounce the VK's 440 damage shell uh, he's sitting in the back there so now and I'm in a I'm in a really strong position for this tank you know like I said earlier with this uh, uh, wonderful uh, turret you can bounce so much stuff pull off some bullshit RNG right there if you notice where I was aiming uh, aimed at his cheek it hit his cupola not gonna complain guys uh, yeah that that that's some bullshit fixers trying to nail that E75 uh, and knock him out as quick as possible here I pull up here and see if I can nail the uh, uh, VK Indian Panzer pulls around and shoots me through the uh, pillars uh, and they push into base so the VK is in the base here and I'm just gonna sit here and wait um, and I don't get the RNG on that one uh, nail the uh, Indian Panzer in the track. Weezy 120 finishes off the E75. Uh, now, of course, we're down 10-11, but we do too have an artillery piece here. Uh, so this is going to be a little more interesting. Uh, let's see if I can blind shot him. I don't get the shot. Uh, he pulls out, and he's playing the corner there. He's looking, he's looking. I don't really think he can see. Of course, I don't have six cents, so I have no idea. Uh, Fixer puts a nice shell onto him. I put a shell onto him, up to 2,200 damage, and uh, he's just hanging out there with his uh, self tracked. Weezy 120 moves up. M12, I'm not sure why he moved himself that far down. Uh, he had to know that there was probably going to be somebody coming this way. Pull back up here on the VK. See if I can get the lower lower plate. No, don't quite get down on him. Uh, Fixer nails the uh, other VK. Artillery misses him for the kill shot. Uh, that leaves us here having to deal with this guy. Pull back. Charioteer finally shows up. He's way over here on the uh, D-line. Nails me in the side of the turret. 
I have that tank. You pull some bullshit RNG there because that thing will miss most times at range. So Fixer finishes off the VK, uh, and we got one VK, one Indian Panzer, and we've evened up the score here. Now the M12 has moved so far down south, uh, there's not a whole lot we can do to even help him. He has to know the Tiger P and the Charioteer around there somewhere. Uh, Fixer finishes off the second guy, uh, and that leaves us just with the uh, with the Indian Panzer here. Uh, Charioteer, we don't know where he's at, other than the fact that I knew he was somewhere on the DE line to shoot me inside the turret, uh, which means he would be somewhere around the five line. Um, yeah, he's over there somewhere. Indian Panzer's still up here, uh, and I'm moving up here to see what I can uh, try to spot for our artillery. Uh, unfortunately, like I said, the artillery wasn't paying attention. Uh, he shouldn't have been that far, uh, and that's when the charioteer shows up, because, uh, you know, bullshit. Find the Indian Panzer. Uh, and I'm not sure what artillery was doing here. We're, I was kind of hoping that he was paying attention uh, and maybe dropped a shell. He was in position to drop it on that Indian Panzer. Uh, but that about the time the wild tiger P shows up out of fucking nowhere, he come all the way from cat, all the way from town, to pull some bullshit. He kills the M12. So now we're down to two versus three and no artillery help. So I'm waiting here for the Indian Panzer. Yeah, he uh, he fucked up. Mistakes were made. So I knocked him down to a one shot. Got the Wheezy 120. He finally goes back to where the tiger P's at. And I'm kind of hoping uh, he's going to win that. He's a tier 9. The other one's a tier 7. This should be easy, right, folks? I mean, you know, he's 51% health. He should have no fucking problem against a tier 7 heavy tank in his Wheezy 120. Well, you know, how stories go, right? I mean... <laughs> so, I'm watching. I'm backing up here for a reason. I don't want to get caught out here with an Indian Panzer and Charioteer if I get pushed. Uh, Tiger P's there, Wheezy 120 is there. He's, Wheezy's got him on the low ground, so he doesn't have to worry about it. Shouldn't worry about his gun depression. Uh, so I'm thinking to myself, ah, we got this, no problem. So I'm backing up, backing up. I'm checking to see, make sure the Indian Panzer don't, isn't going to push me. He's almost dead. The Tiger P's almost dead. The Wheezy 120 had 51% health when he went in there. And we're, I, by now I can't figure it out, because that, yeah. So now our, yep, we got 150 on one, and the Wheezy finally kills him leaving the Wheezy on just a little bit over 100 health. Uh, yeah, I don't know how, how that turned out that way. So the Wheezy 120, he's still playing around down there. He starts coming back, and that's why I start pushing up. I'm thinking, ah, the Wheezy 120 is going to come back and help me. Uh, we could finish off this Indian Panzer maybe. Uh, but it's going to be difficult, like I said, with the Charioteer sitting there. You can't really pop over the ridge. So the Wheezy 120 decides he's going to go for cap. Well, he doesn't you know, really alert me or tell me what his plans are. So he's headed out, um, heading to Cap. Uh, you know, luckily I do pay attention to uh, the map. I have a general idea what he's up to here. So yeah, he's heading back that way. So that means I can't progress here because of where he's headed. So I'm backing out of here. And you know, uh, 15, degree, 15 kilometers an hour is not a bad backup speed on this thing. So I'm gonna pull back. I'm gonna try to keep my turn up uh, as much as I can so they have something to shoot at and hopefully bounce the crap out of it. Indian Panzer playing it pretty cautious. Three minutes on the clock, three minutes, 30 seconds. Charioteers once again playing it pretty cautious. I'm surprised they actually didn't push me when the Tiger P got spotted. Uh, down there fighting the Wheezy 120, I would have been dead if both of them pushed me at the same time, uh, but they didn't. So I'm backing up here and I'm trying to do it relatively stealthy. I don't have, uh, I don't have six cents on here, so I'm really kind of screwed if uh, one of them decides to take a pot shot at me here. But, make it up the ridge, now I'm back and I'm looking, I'm looking. Uh, I was kind of expecting one of them uh, at least to poke a little bit, but they didn't. So I continue back up. Cap's at 130, and he's capping on at 8. Uh, yeah, uh, we, have, we have a fair chance to win this. So I don't spot nothing, finally get down on the dip, turn around. Um, yeah, uh, you know, th this is Tiger II mobility. I, mean, I, mean, I actually think the Tiger II is probably even more mobile than this tank. Uh, and this is my one big complaint about this tank, is that its mobility sucks ass. Uh, and it just it just doesn't do it for me. So, move up. and I'm, Like I said, I'm trying to get myself in a position where I'm not going to get shot at. Uh, 
and I'm going to be able to support the Wheezy 120 if I can get over there. Uh, he spots a charioteer or the Indian Panzer, at least I can give him some support. So get up over the deal. Like I said, I'm waiting here. I'm almost assuming by now uh, they had gone around that lake and they weren't coming this way. And that's when, of course, I spot the uh, charioteer running uh, this direction, which puts me in a pretty good position with 60 seconds on the clock uh, to be a little bit of a you know interdiction here between him uh, and my Wheezy 120. Oh, and, the, and of course the Indian Panzer shows up. So I probably should have shot the Indian Panzer first, uh, but you know, hey, we'll back that charioteer off. I have a better reload than he does, uh, and now they're both one shots. We are, yeah, 17 seconds on the cap, so they're gonna have to make a move here. Somebody's gonna die. Which one's gonna die? Um, hmm, we'll see here. Oh, Indian Panzer shows up. He plays it. A little crazy. I, I didn't think he, he thought he didn't think I was going to get spotted here. Uh, finish him off. Puts me up to 3,200 damage, 1,300 block. Charioteer's like, nah, I got this. No, nope. plops a shot. Time runs out. We win the game. Nice job all the way around. GG, everybody. Uh, so, yeah, that was the game in the 120, 120 millimeter gun and the top turn. So now I'm going to switch over. I'm going to play the other turn with the, uh, the 100 millimeter to kind of give you guys a little bit of a, uh, a change up there. All right, back with the second replay, and this is actually I'm playing, of course, with the uh, the 100 millimeter, uh, the smaller gun, and of course the uh, different turret with the better armor and the better gun depression. Of course, I lose HP for it and um, view range. So it's a tier 10 match, and I'm pretty much I, I just by looking at the teams, and I don't have I don't run XVM or any of that kind of stuff, but um, yeah. Uh, the tank spread when we when the tank spread here, uh, I have a pretty good idea how it's gonna roll. Before I even I think I made it to the rail track and I was like, nah, fuck, we're dead. So move out. I'm not a real big fan of the uh, once again the nine zero. It's way too, uh, way too slow. Uh, there's a lot of peaky pokey going on uh, with that many TDs sitting there. I didn't even want to think about trying to come around that corner. Uh, Bulldog pushes up. Yag taggers here. Guards here. Wheezy decides to go fuck all, and he's dead. Yay, we're down tank already. Uh, Bat chat. He's uh, yeah, he's gonna sit in the bush. Uh, we do have a guard. He's pretty ballsy. Forty-one bulldogs. Really, really aggressive in this game. Uh, you know, dragoon one can. Uh, he's moving all the way up in here into the bottom part of here. Uh, object 430. He's playing a little bit of a uh, sniper role. So is the rev, and of course the Ferdinand. Uh, kind of all spotted areas have a pretty good idea where they're at so I have dick all for support behind me the bat chat he's playing uh, I don't know, sniper roll uh, 92 I have no idea I think he's probably shooting at the other flank in the your Yag tiger here so I'm not pushing up here I have no idea what's on top of that hill but whatever it is I'm not gonna like it guard gets a little pushed over once again you don't have any gun depression on that tank so playing that hill in the position he is yeah that's what happened boys uh, artillery hits him, tracks him. I get my first shot in on the T-54E1. Uh, 232 pen with the uh, 100, so it does make a difference uh, compared to the 218 for the 120. Uh, but this gun is, uh, you know, yeah, it, it doesn't have a problem with uh, a lot of these uh, nines uh, and, and some of the tier 10 mediums, of course. Um, so he gets clipped out. Bat Chat runs away. Uh, Yag Tiger is behind me. Bat Chat's running, and of course I got the Bulldog here. And I'm in a good position right here. I have cover from artillery, and uh, you know I can make this work. I have TDs behind support me, pull over, finds the uh, Bulldog. And you notice how, I mean, like I said, the aim time on this is ridiculously long, so I can't really snap shots with this uh, as well. So I pull back over here, find me the uh, 5041. Uh, pull off a bullshit snapshot right there. Uh, even as I say, I couldn't, you know, not a really good idea. Yeah, but hey, well, fuck it, I'll do it. So, pull over. That's why I know the 5041 right now is charging. And I'm going to try to finish him off before he gets too close here. Put another shell into him. Um, one more, one more time. I need two shells to finish him. He's charging. Pulls up nicely for him. Put another shell into him. Switch to premium rounds because I cannot miss this. Uh, this is going to be the difference between me living and dying right here. 5041 pulls up, puts a shell in, can't do it. Puts two shells into me, bounce both of them, block 780, 1600 damage, uh, and a tier 9 dead. 
Uh, find the bulldog again. He's sitting up on top of the side of the hill here. I ah, can't get him. Um, Gag tag or Rand metal. I'm not sure what they're up to. Uh, I have a 95. I have a lot of TDs here. Uh, unfortunately, they're not in any position to do anything here. Uh, we're already down three to one. Um, looking for the uh, M4A1. They have a lot of full health tanks in here, not doing a whole lot. Uh, Object 261, pretty much one shots the Bat Chat 21 or 25 ton. So we're down to tier 10 already. Uh, yeah, good times, good times. Um, 430 kills the Weezy 120. Uh, we still, like I said, we still have a lot of TDs sitting in the cap there. M46 Patton is uh, hanging out over there for some reason. Get another shell into the Bulldog. Ryan Metal moves up sure what he's up to uh, and we got the t10 pushing in uh, on my uh, on my position put a shell into him back off oh chuck 56 was just killing my team he pretty much one shot at that uh, uh rhyme metal back off here get another shell into the uh, t10 uh, he of course once again this is not something that's uh you know that armor on this tank does not do a good job my artillery stuns me uh yeah Jag Tiger's paying attention, finishes him off. I'm up about 2,600 right now, and I got the, oh, Object 430's coming to my site. Uh, we're down, we're 2.6 right now. Uh, the E4, the Type 4 Heavy, uh, they're all over there getting wrecked by the 95. Two T95s, FE1A3 and a Scorpion G. That, folks, is why the 9.0 is not a good place. Bounce the uh, 430 shell, and I'm looking, looking to see if I can get a shot at him, but he's not coming out no more. So I back up here and I see the ML2 climbing the hill here and I'm thinking, hey, well, maybe there's a chance I'll get a shot on him. Bulldog runs off the other side, finally gets killed by the 46 Patton. What he was doing over there in a medium with gun depression is beyond me. Uh, but yeah, we are not sitting pretty right now. It's 8-3. Uh, they are literally just killing us. Oh, the Strev is over there, of course. Yeah, that uh, nine line, great place to be. Ferdinand finishes off my Ag Tiger, so no, I have no support at all except for the T92 and the T95. And I'm not even sure the 92s aim this way. Uh, the Waffen Panzer is still sitting in mid, uh, cloaked up, and that's about the time I see our friendly object 430 here. So what's he gonna do? He's gonna back up here. I'm thinking, ah, you know what, I'm gonna track him right there, right? I'm thinking, oh yeah, right, T92, where you at, buddy? Nope, 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 nothing. So, bounce the heat round from the 430. Completely flub the shot. Uh, you know, I have him slightly on uh, HP, so I'm gonna have to do this a little careful, a little more careful right here. Uh, I'm, you know, this is a tier eight heavy against a tier ten, tier ten medium. This isn't good. This isn't good. So I pull over, looking, looking, looking. He misses the shot, and I'm gonna pull down here and see if I can get. Yep, there you are, buddy. Put a shell into him. It puts him out of one shot. My team's fucked. I'm um, up to 2,800, 14, 20 blocked, uh, and he uh, he switches the heat round, goes right through my turn. Uh, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing here, buddy? What are you doing? There you go. Ah, finish him off. Puts him up to 3,000 damage. I got an M01, M4A1 rev. Uh, I got a T20 and T95 in base, and I'm trying to think, well, maybe I need to come back and give him a little help here. So I'm looking here for the M4A1. Uh, he's on the back side of that. T95 is pushing him, but doesn't push him far enough. Uh, and that's when I notice, oh, oh, really? Really? Pull back, pull back. See what I can do here. So as I'm pulling back, of course, I get nailed by the M4A1 that I was just waiting for. Because uh, those guys hadn't actually pushed him out to uh, help finish him off. Pull up, aim shot, can't get it done. He finished me off. Ferdinand finishes me off. So, puts me at 3,000 damage, 1,420 blocked. Uh, not too bad for a Tier 8 heavy in a Tier 10 match. I actually ended up with the, uh, yeah, the most amount of damage, which is pretty, pretty sad. So the T95, T28, they're getting pushed all over the place. Um, and I hope that you guys can kind of see what I was talking about, the difference in the guns and the turrets. Uh, that tier, with, with that seven, you get that extra 10 degrees of gun depression, really, really nice. Uh, the 100 millimeters accuracy isn't the best. Uh, so you kind of, you know, you have to have a little bit of a trade-off. Uh, of, of course, the 120 has, of course, better accuracy and aim, or not better accuracy, better aim time, less, less accurate, but it uh, feels a little bit better. Uh, and of course, the other turn only has t eight degrees of gun depression. So uh, you guys can see the difference here and you can see the comparison uh, and you can of course mix and match. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will be bringing you as I go, I'll be doing the nine and I'll be doing the 10. So you guys have a good night and thanks for watching.